Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. Today I want to talk about an interesting concept that I think is going to help your crypto journey a lot and how it relates to other areas of study as well and that is the Dunning-Kruger effect. And what it tries to describe is someone's journey on learning about a topic and how they feel. So on the two axes here we have uh, confidence and knowledge or experience when you're learning about a given topic. And when we chart this here, what we often find is when you first tell someone about something they don't know much about it, you know, they sort of say, no, I don't understand this at all. What are you talking about? And then very quickly, they learn the basics and they think, uh, this is easy. And on this chart, this is known as the uh, peak of Mount Stupidity. And often where beginners trip up, you know, in the world of trading or whatnot, I'll get to specific examples in a second. And then as you start to learn more about something, you realize that, hey, there's way more to this than I first thought. And then you start to grasp more of the concepts and learn everything that's out there. And you think that, you know, I'm never going to understand this. This is super hard. Uh, this is known as the valley of despair on this chart. But if you stick with it, because this is where a lot of people give up, if you stick with it, you gradually learn more and more and you start to feel that, you know, I'm really starting to get this. That's known as the slope of enlightenment on this chart. And then what we find with experts in their given fields is that they actually realize that it's complicated and that they're probably never going to know it all. But they now realize that, hey, they, they do understand a lot, but there is so more out there. It's a bit of a never ending journey. Um, and that's known as the plateau of sustainability. So let's talk about this journey and apply it to a few specific examples. Maybe you're already thinking about a few out there uh, with your experience in the crypto world. So I think this is super relevant when people hear about Bitcoin. If they've never heard of it before, it's kind of like this, huh, what are you talking about? And then when you try to tell people that it's digital money, this is where a lot of the people in the mainstream world think that, oh, you know, this is so easy. This is a load of crap. It's a scam. Um, there's nothing to it. And then once you start to learn about, well, it uses um, a blockchain and that uses proof of work, uh, cryptography and signatures, you kind of think, wow, there's more of this than I thought. And if you're really down the rabbit hole, you're watching videos and reading about it and thinking, well, I'm never going to understand this. Maybe I don't have to. And then once you've watched some more videos, read some more content, you've been in the field for a while, you know, you realize that, hey, I'm really starting to get this and you understand how complicated it is and how we're at the bleeding edge of technology. We don't have all the answers for how Bitcoin is going to um, scale and, and, and you know, progress going forward. In terms of crypto, other people look down that list on CoinMarketCap and start to think, well, yeah, there's other cryptocurrencies. Some of them are using different technology. And then again, they get to this point where they maybe think, I don't understand all these different technologies. And they realize that they are all experimenting with different fields, privacy, implementations, governance, um, and it is extremely complicated. We don't have all the answers yet in the crypto world. I think altcoins is a super interesting one because people read the white paper or their idea and they think, oh, you know, that's, that's a really cool idea. I want to invest. But then when it comes to the actual token utility and the business model, can they do this in the real world and get partnerships? Um, and a lot of people come to this conclusion that, you know what? 99% of these projects are going to fail. Something I've been saying for a long time, and once you understand everything that they are setting out to do and have to achieve, and this is a tech startup in a very competitive world, then people do realize that, hey, some of these altcoins are super complicated. They're probably not going to do what they set out to do, and you come to that realization. In terms of trading, a lot of people look at these charts, and I've even had people tell me they're going to quit their jobs and buy low and sell high, and they, they think it's that easy. And I try to push back a bit and say, guys, there is so much more to it than that. So they kind of go through this moment of, you know, oh, you can trade crypto and wow, this is easy. You just buy when it goes up. And a lot of people fell into this trap in the bull market. Everyone's an expert in a bull market when it's only going up. And then they have their first big loss, uh, you know, even crypto winter when the market's going against them and they've been used to just going long um, the whole time. And when that, their strategy starts to not work, they don't adapt. And that's when a lot of people throw in the towel. And in the trading world, experienced traders, and I think humility is the number one quality that I would say improved my trading when you do get chewed up and spat out by the market a few times. Um, but if you can push through that point, you know, you start to get it. You have a few wins. You stick to your trading rules. Um, you don't try and get rich quick. And then you realize that, you know what? 
Trading is a never-ending journey. I'm always trying to improve, refine my strategy, stick to my goals, um, see if I can tinker with it if I have a bad month, and that you realize that trading is hard. And that's one thing that frustrates me when people say that you know trading is easy, everyone can do it. Well, statistically speaking, there's always a winner and a loser to every trade. So you know, make of that what you will. In terms of entry and exit points, this relates back to trading or investing, but a lot of people think that you know I'm gonna buy low and sell high as I just described. But I know people that bought Bitcoin at a dollar and sold at two dollars when they doubled their money. Now, entries and exits is again something you have to work out a bit of a personal strategy for, and for me it's more about sentiment and what's going on in the broader market. But for some people, you don't wanna buy on every dip and try and sell on every peak. It's more about the long-term journey. The same with trading. Some people have realized that the best strategy for them is swing trading, There's, you know, the bigger time frames and trying jumping in on these five-minute charts and trying to get a good entry and exit on every little up and down. The market is just going to chew you up and spit you out, as I said before. So they really change the way they look at you know, buying um, every little peak and trough. Leverage is something that is readily available in the crypto world. Multiple exchanges now are offering 100x and beginners, again, they sort of log in, they think, what's this interface, how does this all work? And then sure enough, oh wow, this is super easy. They do their first trade on 100x and they make a bit of money and then a few days later, a few trades later, um, they've lost it all and they think, wow, that's harder than I thought. So they, again, they have to build that trading journey of getting a strategy, um, learning discipline, hum- humility, sticking to a plan, and um, if you can stick with it and learn, then you you know that this is hard and it's complicated. You need to respect the market, and I, you know personally, I don't ever use a hundred times leverage. I actually think that the smaller the leverage is, what the better traders use, particularly with a big account. If we're in a bull market, I know some people that are planning to just use one or two times leverage and you know, get double or triple the returns they would have got from just investing and plenty of day traders that only use 10 or maybe 25 times leverage, but rarely people that use 100 leverage and that's a mistake that uh, beginners make. In terms of economics, it's something we're starting to see really debated hotly at the moment. We have all these economic students that are pumped out and they are taught one way of economics and we have these other people, Steve Keane is someone we've had on the channel that are saying that Economics is not as simple as what you're saying. Why did no one see the GFC coming? Why are people constantly uh, missing their inflation targets, you know, central banks and, and governments? And I think this is a field where people are starting to realize that, hey, this is pretty complicated. We don't just do our uni degree and we think we know how the world works. The world is an extremely complex model and some of the systems we've built don't take into account everything. That's why we can't predict financial crisis. So I think economics is kind of going through this um, Dunning-Kruger effect for a lot of people, even those with the degrees. Medicine, something I've seen firsthand. This is this is pretty controversial, but I know a lot of medical students, pharmacy students that uh, are super book smart and the current education system, some people are pretty critical of it, saying that, you know, we we, we have to regurgitate all these facts and there's not a lot of critical thinking these days. And I know pers- personally doctors that have gone through this and they've come out the other side and said, you know, hey, the actual medical system, we don't know everything about how the body works, particularly the brain and a lot of the drugs we use in that area, but also about other areas of, of medicine and health in general um, that we're really starting to see a shift in medicine. And we already see it in the East where there's different methods and we, we acknowledge that we don't know everything about um, how to maintain health and whatnot. In terms of politics, wow, isn't this a topical one? Politicians are making all the decisions for, for countries and economies and a lot of the time uh, they're not experts in their field. So they you know they might get elected and they think that you know they know the best policies for all these different industries, whereas... Um, my personal thought and experience has been those countries that have actually uh, elected officials that are experts in their relevant fields to make decisions and policies about those individual fields and industries. Um, you know, they acknowledge that they don't know everything and they have the most up to date evidence rather than a lot of the time politicians maybe don't get a lot done. Um, they don't have a good understanding of the things they're making decisions about, um, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, I don't want to get too controversial there. Education, I sort of touched on that already. We have seen um, certain countries really remodel their education system around that critical thinking and problem solving 
um, rather than regurgitating facts and whatnot. And some cultures don't really have that school system and that structure. Uh, you know, you can go down the rabbit hole and talk about how universities and the money and the donations they get um, in all different fields, you know, they can really drive the narrative and, and what they learn and what they are told that is facts maybe is different to how everything works in the real world. So look, let me get, no, let me know in the comments below if you've been on this journey with um, crypto investing or trading leverage. Have you made these mistakes? Have you seen this um, affect in other industries, maybe the industry you work in. But I think the Dunning-Kruger effect uh, is something that if you're mindful of and maybe you're in this stage on your crypto journey, um, you know, stick with it, keep building your experience and knowledge. Uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and this concept has uh, certainly helped me over my journey. So if you've liked this style of video, guys, please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share this around and uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.